Hello everyone and welcome. That's right, we're back and we are recording once again. For this video, for our first one back, uh, we're going to do a review for GriffCon 2023. We were invited down uh, as press, which was just amazing and completely and utterly mind-blowing. So we thought we'd show you a little bit about behind the scenes, explain what GriffCon's all about, uh, shout out to the mass of talent that was there, uh, as well as sort of our hopes, what to see from the future from GriffCon, as, well, not to ruin the whole video, but it was a little bit awesome, just saying. So many of you are going to be asking what GriffCon is. Well, on the screen right now, you can see the website. And as it explains, GriffCon is a convention that brings together the online miniature painting and tabletop gaming community from all over the country to meet up in person, paint, game together, and meet invited online personalities in a safe and organized environment. I will say straight off the bat, from mine, Mrs. A's, and Junior's at personal experience, as well as a number of other people that we spoke to that were present, the environment, the atmosphere at the convention would definitely felt safe. It was clearly organised well, and there was a real sense of community for the entire event. The first GriffCon was in 2022. Uh, organised by Brendan of Griffin Gaming Harlow who is an absolutely amazing chap I will be dropping links in below for everyone I mentioned today I cannot wait to get back down there catch up with him he was just uh, he was just so much fun to be around and he had his own energy we're always making jokes and overall just, just a great chap and it was a great like atmosphere to be a part of as well as you can see from the website, obviously they mention, you know, there were shops there, they invited other traders back in 2022. They did the same thing again for 2023, and they had a whole range of personalities uh, at the first one. And for 2023, that was no different. The number of people that were there, the personalities, be them YouTubers or streamers, or just faces from the the community that we see online on a regular basis was amazing to see and they were there they were interacting and engaging with fans and fellow hobbyists pretty much all day long which was great to see because a lot of the time at the the bigger events it's overly structured maybe and People kind of want to talk to these personalities, these these people who inspire them. Myself and Mrs. A are quite inspired by uh, Studio J7, for example, and Jimmy the Brush and Princess. And it was great to meet these people in person and talk and get to know each other a little bit better and just generally hang out and have a laugh and, and share in that, that shared passion for miniature painting. So from the moment you arrived at the convention, there was a really friendly, warm and welcoming atmosphere from the crew that were taking tickets and everything else, which was great to see. And then once you were actually in the convention itself, there was a whole variety of different things to do. The tables were packed with absolutely brilliant terrain that was provided by uh, Gus the Hutt, uh, Simon Says Make Painting and Six Plus Save. The variety when it came to the stalls was brilliant. It wasn't just Warhammer. There were various other wargaming systems and miniatures. There was even a like a game developer there as well that me and Mrs. A had a quick look at later on during the day. Variety of different paints, miniatures, all sorts of things. Obviously, there was a whole stall dedicated to dice as well, which... Mrs. A and Junior took very keen interest in and we spent a quite a while chatting with those guys. But overall, there was just so much to do. Building, painting, stalls, gaming, personalities. It was brilliant. There was always something that you could be doing. There was always something to do. I actually managed to get my first couple of games in of 10th and I have to say... 
that the people that were there, they were really helpful and really supportive. We had a couple of people coming over and talking to me and Ruby from Roll One to Explode, offering us uh, help when it came to learning the new rules and double checking we were okay and that we weren't struggling with things. And the tables were pretty much packed all day. Griffcon 2023 also saw the first World of Tanks tournament. I didn't even know this was a thing. So it was brilliant to see. And the miniatures themselves are really nice. They're very well detailed. And it was it was really interesting to see that the first ever tournament for this new game system. When it comes to the painting and building, or building and painting, whichever way you want to look at it, uh, side of things that I mentioned earlier on. There was, in fact, a bit bashing table with a whole mountain of sprues on, and we saw a variety of different cool and weird creations. Junior spent the majority of his time at the bit bashing table and thoroughly enjoyed himself, and next to that was a painting table, which, to be fair, was, was pretty much in use throughout the whole day, I believe, which was wonderful to see. So another activity that was available to everyone on the day was a speed painting challenge that was run by some of the personalities that had been invited. This added a whole level of comedy to the entire activity. Everyone was sat around and laughing and joking. They were swapping paints and trying to obviously get their miniature painted quickly and, and finished first but at the same time were clearly enjoying themselves painting alongside other hobbyists and that was really nice to see and I think it just added to that sort of atmosphere um, as you can see like Peachy and Suggs were having a whale of a time making various remarks about the earthquake phase <laughs> um, much to everyone's horror so there was also a painting competition at the event as well and the talent that turned up and, and put their models forward was absolutely outstanding. I don't know how the guests that were involved in judging that painting competition managed it. I don't think I could have done. There were so many cool miniatures from a variety of different uh, wargaming settings and the level of detail that people put into these miniatures was just amazing. So on top of all the activities, the building, the painting, the gaming, the speed paints and the stalls and all the rest of it, there was two panels on throughout the day featuring the invited personalities, the YouTubers and the streamers, thing, people like that. And it was really interesting to hear the, the questions that people put out to the panel some of which were questions that I would never have thought of, to be honest. And I'm kind of glad I was just there to, to experience it as opposed to get involved. Because uh, mine, my questions would have been very simple, like, what's your favourite paint? One of my personal favourites of the entire day, other than meeting new people and making new friends, uh, was watching the guests paint off which was just absolutely hilarious. It was comedy gold. The, the, the entire 45 minutes, it was non-stop. They all had one, one miniature, or well, the same miniature each, one paintbrush and a very small selection of paints. And it was just non-stop laughter in that room from the moment they started to the moment that they finished. Arbiter Ian won the challenge, and rightly so, because his miniature looked absolutely amazing. So by the end of the event, it was time to announce the winners of the raffle, as well as those that had won the painting competition. There was a certain amount of, I don't know, for me personally, I guess, sadness, because that meant the day was coming to an end. It was wonderful to be there and to experience it all, to see behind the scenes, to get to meet new people and you know, meet up with, with friends all in all, I solid 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. I hope for, you know, Griffcon 2024, I hope that we get to do it again. I hope that we get to go down and, and have the same experience, if not a better experience, because I have no doubt that 
Brendan and Raven and Simon and all those that have been involved in GriffCon have just bigger and better plans for next year. Just want to say from myself, Mrs. A and Junior, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity, Brandon, and we hope that we can join you next year for another amazing GriffCon. Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.